For many years, geologists have been studying the rise of the Isthmus of Panama because it's knowing the age of that event has very important consequences to the whole world because it changed ocean circulation, which changed the climate of the world. It may have had something to do with the onset of glaciation, and it certainly created the, camp, the, the Caribbean um, and made it full of coral reefs and in turn very different from the Eastern Pacific. And for many years, people who studied molecular biology, who studied the animals that walked on the land, who studied the, the, the marine species on either side of the isthmus, and who studied the geology and the oceanography around the isthmus, most scientists were in agreement for many years that, that, that the final isthmus rose up and became a complete land barrier three million years ago. So then, all the people who had been assuming that three million years was the, the right answer got together. They came from 23 institutions all around the world and they, they said, OK, let's go over all this evidence with a new look and a new analysis. So um, Harris Lesios at Stry reanalyzed the molecules of the species on either side of the isthmus. And, um, and myself and my colleagues uh, did re-looked at the geology of different parts of Panama that told the story of the rise. And we got the oceanographers to recheck um, the story of when the salinity differences occurred between the Caribbean and the Pacific, which is a sign the isthmus has come up and has separated the two oceans. And at the end of all that, um, the conclusion was by the vast majority of those 35 scientists that got together that the evidence for the three million years was reaffirmed and made more convincing, whereas the evidence for the older isthmus, its arguments had been found um, with serious defects and therefore uh, we all think now that three million years was the ultimate correct answer. Remember that what we mean is when was the isthmus a true isthmus? That is to say you could walk dry shod from one continent to the other without without putting getting your feet wet and that the two oceans were truly separated. If there are marine passages through it like there is say through the Indonesian arc between Australia and Southeast Asia then it's not an, an isthmus it's a an archipelago.